GoPro contacted me to make a video about their new accessory and boys and girls, what you're about to see is going to be crazy. This is literally me using this accessory the first time, but to give you my honest opinion at the end, I have to test it properly and that's why I'm gonna document our little road trip with this exact setup. My friend is an extremely good FPV pilot and he's about to teach me a lot about FPV flying in the next few days. I mean, look at this shot, it's just insane. One thing I can already tell you that I really like, and these are the buttons of the stick because it makes it so easy to control everything on the GoPro with just one finger. And to vlog the new Creator Edition is super cool as well, but more to all the features, the settings and everything a little bit later. Now it's time to go over there and fly some more FPV. So my FPV shots are nothing compared yet to the ones of Paul, but he taught me quite a few things and with every flight I'm getting better and better. So yesterday I have been using the GoPro Hero 10 Creator Edition the whole day. My GoPro still has 100% battery life and the Volta Stick has 3 out of the 5 lights so it's basically still everything fully charged. So we are going to a new location. I'm using this exact setup to get some cinematic shots on the way and there. On the GoPro Hero 10 I really like the 4K 120 frames per second setting for cinematic shots with people. I think this is an essential setting for travel videos and even though the light conditions were horrible my Hero 10 still managed to get some nice shots. And then the second type of shots I like to use as well for cinematic travel videos are time lapses. They are amazing to fill gaps in your edits and look very professional. But unfortunately I couldn't get a cinematic time lapse because first of all the conditions are horrible and second we don't have enough time because we are going to another place and I also have to keep improving my FPV skills but of course I will keep you up to date with this Volta stick and tell you if there is a thing I do not like about it. All right, now guys, you're gonna see something crazy. It's coming, <laughs> not yet, but it will be. <laughs> that was very close. The GoPro Hero 10 paired with the Volta stick and the media mode is an absolutely vlogging beast. But GoPros are not only amazing to vlog, they also deliver amazing aerial footage. Alright, short update, still 100% battery life on the GoPro Hero 10, 2 out of the 5 lights on the Volta stick. One little thing I actually really like, if you want to take a stupid touristic selfie, just press with the finger here. And that's it, no more timer and nothing, super nice. And another thing I really like is the microphone of the media mod. Currently we have pretty good conditions, so the differences are probably not too extreme. I, by the way, still have 100% battery on the GoPro Hero 10, but those conditions allow us to go down there and fly some more FPV. There is a hole in the rock, Maybe we're gonna pass it with the drone. Let's see. So we made it, but we can't see the hole from here. So probably we have to fly from over there if we are gonna fly. But at least you should hear now clearly differences in the audio because it's winning quite a lot. The new Volta will for sure be one of my main sticks in the future and paired with the media mod, I have everything I need in one compact setup. It's an amazing setup for travelers who like to vlog like me and even in horrible weather conditions with wind and rain it performs as its best. 